so uh, today we'll be covering you know majorly the agent installation part the configuration at the dynatrace level so we will be able to we will be looking to cover day 4 entire including integrations and vendor contact details and setting up alerting and onboarding and there will be an additional one which is installing the agents and how do we go about you know configuring those agents you know so all of those things we'll be covering today so a little brief overview about what we discussed yesterday from the onboarding perspective so we talked about whenever a new application is coming in first thing that we need to do is we need to get an application onboarding template with us ask the team to fill in the template where they will provide us the server related details os related details the ram on the server on the basis of the ram of the server we will figure out that what will be the license consumption of this particular application will tell it to the team that okay this will be the license consumption are you okay with the thing now next will which will which will be check is uh, which we will check is the port 9999 that is four times nine if it's open from your so the servers to the active gates usually it is open for all the res life servers because we have got that uh, pivot request implemented for all the res life servers so you don't need to do anything but just a check just do a prerequisites like this with the application team because you would not have the access to those servers in normal scenarios normally how is it going to do is now you have the application template filled in you gave them the license details now you're looking to get the agent installed now first thing is you check the ports opened or not you check tell tell it is happening fine so that is all correct now second is you need root access onto the servers now you team will not be able to give you root accesses so they will be performing the activities themselves but what you can do is you can help them in you know with the steps that they need to do now as zinetrace admin those steps has to be defined by you now what are those steps and how we can define that steps to install that agent this is what we are going to cover today okay so the first step is you need to you have identified the servers now you are exam taking a use case that you are uh, installing it on the linux server first with having some xyz memory or ram or something now you don't need to take care of that ram right now now what what you need to do is you will log into your dynatrace portal you will click on this deploy dynatrace on the left this will end you up at this screen you will click on start installation here once you click on that it will be different uh different os mentioned here now you can click on any one of them which is related to your service like for example we are dealing with linux at the moment so we'll click on linux once we do that we'll end up to this page which is for downloading the agent now first thing that it will ask you is the pass token now again i'm can somebody please admit that person if he's who's ever is joining okay so the pass token i'm going to give it to you so don't worry about this we have generated one token you have to use this one only now there are a list of commands which i have already prepared for you okay good okay now uh, coming back to this this api token this is for production and there is one more for uh, non prod this one so when i'm i'm going to give you this these commands you can use just these api token as it is you just have to copy this token come here and paste it as soon as you paste it it will give you the commands to download the agent now i kind of explained this in the start of our sessions but i'm going to do it again these commands are for getting the downloading package from dynatrace to your server but on one condition that this wget command that means you're connecting to this url which is directly dynatrace url now in your scenarios the the servers do not have internet access your system my system does have internet access so that's why i probably be able to download this on my system but not from the servers these are internal servers so that is why i told you how are we connecting via active gates so while we downloading also we need to provide the active gates url instead of the dynatrace url now for doing that what i have what we have done is you see the entire command is just the same we have put in two parameters which is no certificate check and no proxy this is you don't need to worry about all this it just only means that it is not checking for any https certificate while downloading and it is just bypassing these servers from proxy so there is a proxy res live proxy which is in place which sometimes blocks uh, this uh, particular downloader to be downloaded so that is why we are passing it and this is this is this is verified from the dxc team so there is no problem in that 
okay so this is just to make you understand you don't need to worry about all this just one thing is this one is important so this ip is pretty important now how is this ip came from now rajan just now he asked a question that how we decide the az now suppose you have got server then this linux server which we are talking about belongs to az1 okay now you need to tell that server that okay i belong to az1 and in the dynamic is also have to connect to this network zone az1 so in order to for server to identify this package to identify there are certain list of res active gate servers in res life we have now these are the list these three are non prod servers and these all are prod servers now again to ident to, to help you identify just look at this host name wlf css paz1 just look this one az2 this one az3 so this one belongs to az1 this one belongs to az2 and this one belongs to az3 that's how we identify in res life servers so when there is an az1 server what we have done is in the command to connect to any active gate we have for az1 servers i have taken any one of these az1 servers so both of these are active gates in az1 i told you about in the architecture that there are two active gates in ha so in az1 these two are the active gates in ha in az2 these two are the active gates in az3 these three are the active gates so while downloading the agent you can use any one of these active gates ip you will be able to connect so to make it simpler for you for az1 if you see this you'll you'll get this command as it is for prod so az1 downloading the command you are using 12.98 so if you see this 12.98 is ip so we using one of the active gates of the az1 server while doing it for az2 12.234 so we using one of the az2 server so in that way you are telling the package okay this is the active gate we need to connect to this is just to make you guys understand that that's how we are coming up to this e is it is as simple as that nothing we changed all of the other things we just kept it as it is other one is 9999 which is a port which i talked about which is for one agent to connect to active gate this 9999 is a default port we are using this this one rh18662 if you will come here on dynatrace this is a tenant id we call it tenant id tenant id is nothing but an it's a common id which is a very unique id for every environment so for production there is one id for uh, non prod there is one id now only one change that you have to make in 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 downloading the agent is the package version just see here we are downloading this package which is a version 1.207.233 now what dynatrace does is dynatrace they update these versions pretty often now there might be a possibility right now it is just the same but there is a possibility that the version is upgraded now you don't want to install an agent on the downgraded version so you just have to come here and see this version suppose it this was this version was 234 so the only change that you need to do is come here to the command and update it to 234 that is all that is all the change that you need to do just copy this command and send it to the team on the call to ask them to download the package with root access and there we go with this command the uh, agent installer will be downloading to their system okay now the first step is done you got the agent downloaded second one is you need to set host groups and network zones now network zones we are talking about it suppose the server is az1 so which network network zones will you select we'll select the az1 network zone if the server was az2 server we would have selected az2 network zone these are pretty straight forward okay now with while i will be selecting this network zone we are telling the agent to connect to this network zone on dynatrix now the second one is it's is really important this one is host group now what is host group host group is a way again a dynatrace way to identify a particular server that which application does it belong to it is just a way for dynatrace to simplify things that okay this server it belongs to suppose edge edge application or class application or whatever application now again taking the r use case suppose we are installing an agent uh, an agent for an application and that is an app server for an application called xyz so we can define this host group suppose application name is xyz underscore it is an app server app server app underscore server you can define it as it as as you want it is for you to you to you know identify as well later on i'll tell you how so once you click on this 
you will see that your commands here will be refined on the basis of what network zone and what host group you selected okay now if all you need to do is to install the agent you just need to copy this command and send it to to the okay now it can be much more easier for you also as well i have already put in this command for installing the agent all you need to do is change these two parameters set network zone and set host group sorry about my mouse okay so suppose the net, the network zone is az2 so i'm going to change it to az2 suppose the host group is xyz underscore app server right so all i need to do is i will change it to xyz underscore app underscore server and give this command to them rest all is nothing they it will install automatic is this is this clear or have any doubt on this anyone has any question on this no god okay so understood right it's pretty simple you just i'll give you all these list of commands you just have to make sure to use them as it is just make two three changes one is version what is the version of the linux package or by looking at here and dynatrace what is a version this one second just check for these network zones and host group okay so these are these are all the things that you need to do now a question can be like what can what can what what is the difference in windows now windows all remain the same the, the installation command it remain exactly the same just that there will be no bin bash i'll tell you how it is so let's go to the windows once let's see how, how it goes so in windows it will be a little difference in terms of how the command is like so windows you can't run directly on the cmd all you have to do is you have to ask the team to run a powershell now how to run a powershell you simply go to run and search for powershell this is the one powershell iac just ask them to run this powershell iac on their system on their server and provide this command to them okay now once you do that what is this command no need to worry about all the all the above command it is just a powershell command to invoke this url and this is the same url which we are talking about in linux just a while ago this one one so again i'm going to give you for both non prod as well as prod you just have to change your values according to the which az are you selecting just change the values and you will be able to use it as it is now once you do that the package will be downloaded on your system anyone has any question okay so once you once you run this command the package will be downloading or downloaded on your system as a normal windows package now all you need to do is suppose a package is downloaded on your system this system now what i'm going to do is ask a team member to run cmd on their system now suppose the package is here only now what they need to do is to install just run the command here just see this command this is the installer package kind of double click on that and set the network zone here and the host group whatever you want to do this one so we're doing nothing we are just providing we we're just trying to run this exe file which is a downloader file and we are providing the network zone this one az1 and we providing the host group this one so how are we going to run it just copy this and wherever the installer is downloaded just paste it can't paste it but okay you, you just like this so once you run this there will be an pop up open for installing it you just have to click on next 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 two steps and it will be installed
I think you were able to see it. This is the one, right? What you are yes. seeing in this one? Yes, the entire one, yep. So you just copy, you want to create a directory for it, sir, because it will download one uh, package there. So, any specific location you want to save it to, otherwise, it's fine. Doing it at the location as well. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yep, it's just, just do an LSI kind of lot here. And uh, just give yes, information to this. Yeah, just, just give information. See, it's more seven five five to this. For information you record or seven five five record? Yeah, uh, it's okay. Seven 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 is also fine. We need to execute this file. Uh, yeah. Or just just wait for a couple of minutes before we done it. So this is the Coro app server, right? Yeah, this is Coro Batch Server. Coro App Server. Okay. So I'm just going to give you a command to run. This is a batch one. There is there are two servers there. The there is run for the ad hoc and one is run for the batch. This is for the batch. So so I is this a server which is separation. having most of the load or most of the applications? So most of the application belongs here in this server, right? Yes, correct. Oh, that, that's what we need. So we want to check that you know what what all details are there in this server, and we'll just monitor it for some time on 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 what that it is. Okay, I'll just give okay. you a command to run. This command also to yep. run. Yes, just just go there and run this command. So basically, from the first command, you're getting the package, which is downloading the shell script, and second command, you're running the shell script. Yes. So in the second command, we're running the package. And yes. uh, you remember, we were talking about some tags and everything, right? So we are providing mm -hmm. the parameters here. The one is network right. zone. So that's why we, we ask for these zones, which zone does it belong to, the availability mm -hmm. zone. So that's how we okay. provide. So to each availability zone, there is a separate network zone created in Dynatrace, like mm -hmm. like set me AZ1 for the AZ1 service. And then the host groups, which will tell us that this is a borrow app zone in Dynatrace. Yeah. Okay. So we provide okay. this and just run this and it yeah. will automatically connect to it. Sure. Okay. So just, just wait for a couple of minutes. I'll just see on the Dynatrace side. The <laughs> server, the edge server where we just installed the agent. And if you'll just click on the details here. Now, this is what I, I need help from Manu here. So see, uh, there are all of these processes, which it's it's showing, and all of these processes will require a restart. Oh, restart is required now? No, not the server restart, process restart. Yeah, I understood that, but uh, some of the things are the web sphere. I don't know the... I don't know why this much uh, process is showing for the WebSphere. WebSphere, we there are many have other processes. These... One is Node Agent, then there are the DMGR. Your Edge server host. We got this document engine which you just started. I'll, if I'll click on this. This is all now monitored. Okay. Yeah, so it was shut down offline for two minutes. That's what Dynatrace sees it, and it's been totally available. Uh, yep, so matrices data will start coming in as soon as now, now it has started. It's all good. Uh, 
we can continue with other processes if you have any insight of it.